Hello everybody and welcome to this video where today we are going to talk about us being little whiny brats and we need to talk about how fucking good we have it. Let's just be real here. <clears throat> now, this came up because I was listening to an amazing podcast called Voluminous, which I highly recommend if you are a fan of H.P. Lovecraft, because the podcast is the two dudes from the H.P. Lovecraft Historical Society reading letters that he wrote to people and then dissecting the letters and talking about them. And I was listening to one episode and honestly, like I've listened to so many episodes in the last few days. Like I binge listened to this show. I can't remember what episode it was, but I remember it was a letter from 1927. And, um, he was talking about how he had <clears throat> finished um, Supernatural Horror and Literature, which is an amazing piece of um, badass nonfiction. So he finished writing that. And then he was talking about how he also needs to type that up and send out to whatever magazine was going to publish it. I can't remember. But he's all, he was also sitting on um, the case of Charles Dexter Ward that needed to be typed. But he couldn't like imagine like having to sit down and type all that out. And also the Dream Quest of Unknown Kadath, which is his big um, dream cycle opus kind of thing. And the case of Charles Dexter Ward, if you don't know, is like the only novel um, Lovecraft ever wrote. So he was just complaining in this letter that um, he has all these projects that are done, but he doesn't want to type them. So he's like putting it off. And just so you know, this was in 1927. He's talking about this. Both the case of Charles Dexter Ward and Dream Quest of Unknown Kadath didn't come out until the 40s after Lovecraft was dead like he never typed those out okay because he just couldn't imagine being bothered with that it was too much of an ordeal another thing is is that back in these days when people would send their work out to the magazines and the magazines would ask for revisions that meant that they, they would send the work back and now the author would have to like retype either parts or giant sections um, of the piece to send it back. And usually that meant writing it longhand, coming up with the revisions that needed to be made and then typing those out and all this other stuff. And a lot of people, if I recall correctly, had like typists that they would go to because they didn't want to hunt and peck and like do all this stuff. But we have it so good. Like we could just like, seriously, I can type a, a flash fiction or like a really short story or a poem, not even edit it and post it to my website. I do it all the time. And then I look back at it and I go, oh, that's riddled with errors. I should fix that. And then I either fix it or I forget. But the point here is, is like, just think of how many more stories people like H.P. Lovecraft or Robert E. Howard. And just go down the list of all these people who could have written so much more if they had the technology that we have today where they could like actually like just pump stuff out it's it's just shocking when i hear things of people i dig like going through these like toils that were just common life that we don't have those things it's like we are spoiled children when we talk of the bitches of self-publishing or the bitches of being a fucking writer. Um, 
I have to think about these things and kind of put it into perspective. Um, like, the writers of yesteryear would have fucking murdered a bitch to fucking have what we have. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. This this wasn't to make anyone feel bad. This was just to let you know how good you have it. And um, just keep on keeping on, type hard, do the thing, and that's it. So I'll talk to you guys later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the Creo or the Anarchy Creo, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.